Oh. <laughs> All right, we gotta teach her some boundaries. Good use of a tree slice, tree stump slice. Huh, Dora? What do you think? Huh? Do you see how I put this cool thing in the ground? Oh, I really like that. Yeah. A little step. All right. So this used to be our old compost pile. And what Kevin's doing is he's trying to get some of this good broken down goat manure so that we can plant the rest of our trees. Have some good fertilizer. These kids always drop these wipies oh, yeah. all over. I've, Even though I've told them a million I've times. Should give them a consequence. What's a good consequence for throwing them on the ground? It's like kids just don't care about keeping stuff clean. Why not? All right, time to plant the loquat tree. this pretty low quad gets to sit back here in this area and gets to be just as happy as can be next to the mango and the cherries and the banana and the apple and the strawberries. All right, time to try out these Google Coulter beds. This is a total experiment that will probably fail. Google bed, beds? Yeah, Google beds. Google. All right. <laughs> All right. So we had a trench that we dug in a little kind of half circle. Okay. Put a bunch of wood chips and all the little pieces of wood from the tree. And now we're going to put soil and compost and kind of build this raised bed over it. Coulter beds. I'm never gonna say that right. Hugel. Maybe it's Hugel. Hugel Coulter. Hugel. Huggle. Hugel Coulter. Huggle. Hugger. Hugel Coulter. For the core beds, this is totally an experiment. I have seen it done a lot online, but I don't know if it can be done here in Arizona. I do know that we have irrigation, and that is a really good way to water raised beds. So it may work. But we've just realized another conundrum. We put the strawberries right there in that mound. Oh, we have a problem because you see that chicken over there? When we initially put this fence here, the chickens couldn't get through because we put chicken wire down on the bottom. See this? So they can't get through. But some chicken realized that she could get through and she taught three other chickens that they can all get through these top rails right here. Now they can't fly all the way over because we clipped their wings, but 
The problem is we've got a long row of fencing that now we have to pause before we plant strawberries right here. And now we have to finish the entire line. So that will not be fun, but it's necessary. Those chickens. I thought we could be smarter than them. We could figure it out. Nope. Nope. You get one smart chicken in the group and it's over, man. Oh no. Did it just break? <laughs> oh. Our plans keep getting thwarted. Our wagon wheels are breaking. <laughs> why, why are you using, oh, you're using the wagon to bring the stuff over. Oh my gosh. I'm just riding the little, you know, ride here as I wait for Kevin to go get me compost. You're a good compost getter, Kevin. Oh, you lost your wheel. Oh my gosh. Like the majority of what we do is just fix things that break. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are you giving up? <laughs> we had the kids put together that wagon like two years ago. So I guarantee that they may have put the wheels on wrong. So tell me about what you are doing this spring for your garden or if you're doing a garden at all or maybe if you're planting a new tree tell me about what your projects are because I like to hear other people's projects and get ideas from it so I might steal your ideas too I'm sorry this wheelbarrow wheel just broke and then he moved it to the wagon and the wagon broke so I think this is a sign that we should stop working for the day you want to just ride this teeter-totter with me instead? Oh, it's breaking. It's breaking. <laughs> All right, I think they're pretty high. Good work. Yeah, I think the irrigation will be fine. All right, now we gotta just figure out this fence before we plant the strawberries. Well, these ducks are taking swims together. They are officially bonded. I mean, you couldn't separate these two if you wanted. They are in love. So it only took, how long? A couple weeks? Oh, you guys are fine. Keep looking for eggs and I haven't found any eggs yet. Yeah. Oh, I've been checking under here every day because this is where they hang out. Right under here are the two ducks. They come under here. So I think that she would lay under here, if anywhere. I don't see anything. So... I don't think that she's laid under there yet. So I have to tell you, Penny has been so sweet to Tilly, haven't you? She's been really nice to you, huh? Yeah. She's been really, really, really nice to you. She's been like a little mama. She's been so sweet. She lets her play all over her. Oh, Tilly. She lets you eat with her, which is a big deal. They are buddies. I knew you guys would be buddies. I knew it. I knew it. This is like, this is, this is her now. She just climbs all over us all the time. That's okay. Except just you can't eat my hair. Hate that. She'd be a good yoga goat. Should do yoga together, Tilly. You and me. Hmm? You just gonna chew on my pants then? Oh. <laughs> All right, we've gotta learn boundaries here with Tilly. We gotta teach her some boundaries. 
You cannot climb all over me all the time. You can't. Huh? You can't bite me. That hurts. You're such a good little goatee. You are. You are so sweet. Except for when you chew on me and it hurts. 